With skin allergy in cats, uh, we do see a lot of itchy cats, and, and, and when we have those come in, what we do um, is with a flea comb, determine if there's any kind of um, flea problem, and it will either see fleas themselves or flea dirt, which is the um, peppery, black, grainy type stuff that's uh, on the skin, which is basically flea manure. So, um, and if we see that, we pretty much make the determination that it's a flea allergy dermatitis, and, and with, um, the flea products that are available today, they're really safe and they're very effective and they tend to last for, um, most of them are labeled for 30 days and they do a really good job of, of that. Um, if there are no fleas or they've been on a good flea treatment, then we have to dig a little deeper and they can be just um, allergic to certain uh, inhaled allergens, uh, pollen, things like that. A lot of times cats will have food allergies and oddly enough they can be allergic to fish uh, and one of the the easiest first things we do is try to get them off fish and that, not necessarily with a prescription diet but just with a, a good you know meat based diet. If that doesn't seem to work then we kind of get into the hypoallergenic diets that we can prescribe uh, if we do feel it's a diet induced um, skin thing.